All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are in SnowRunner, and we will be going after the task like like brothers. <clears throat> We've got to bring uh roughly roughly three hundred and twenty. Yeah, three hundred and twenty repair points. Uh, we have currently. Uh, let's go to repair. We currently have 300. So, never mind. We're not going to do that. We're going to do something else with our time. Uh, we're going to head down here. We're going to head out towards the blackness and try to uncover more of the map. So, that's my plan now because I realized it's kind of pointless to drive all the way over there and only have 300 uh, repair points when we need. Well, 300 and, uh, 319, so I don't believe any other truck has repair points. Uh, we do have a trailer store here, so we'll probably go pick up a trailer. There's one way back here as well. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll grab that one and then haul that back. I think the dairy can, can get through most of this without a problem, but... You know what? That's uh, that's probably going to be the next episode. So, if you guys were wondering, that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. But today we are trying to get this map completely uncovered. I would uh, I would like to finish this up as soon as possible because it's it's taking a lot longer than normal. So, in fact, uh, it's taken five times as long. I think. How many episodes have we been in this uh, on this map, and we still haven't uncovered the entire the entire uh, map so uh, we do have to go slow I'm starting to slide a little bit no 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 ah <sighs> uh, stupid trailers <laughs> I blame the trailer but it's really only myself I have to blame um so you know what let's uh Let's go back to the garage. I want to uh, scroll all the way down to the garage. I want to bust out a vehicle that we haven't used yet. And uh, yeah, we're going to see, see what the best thing is for this. TO1s. No, we're going to keep these tires the way they are. Uh, is there anything else that we're going to need? I'm going to say the advanced scout. I don't I don't think we're going to have to worry about this thing flipping over. So let's switch that and let's actually sell those and oops, we'll sell that one as well. Uh, what else could we use? We have no chain tires. We have no engine upgrades. There's a fine tune, but we haven't gotten that yet. There is a roof rack that we have. Oh, I took it off. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So uh, I think we'll change the color. Ooh, bright yellow. Should we go banana? Yeah, I think we'll go banana. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think it uh, looks kind of ridiculous. I was going to go for the blue and white. Uh, just to kind of sig signify the Arctic. But uh, yeah, let's go banana. Why not? It uh, actually suits it quite well. All right, so let's go see. Uh, let's go see what this thing can do out here. And we're going to take it straight through the, uh, straight through the, uh, shortcut here. It's actually, uh, very hard to stop this vehicle, so. It, it would be nice if it had chains, uh, but it doesn't, so we're just going to go with what it has 
And the fact that we hit that, came to a dead stop, and didn't take any damage, that's pretty... Pretty impressive. Alright. Well, we know we know how good this, this vehicle is, so... We'll see how well it does on the ice. I don't know... I'm hoping this won't flip over if it catches an edge. But I suppose there's only one way to find out, and... Well, with my luck that I've been having on this map, we're, we're going to find out if we roll this thing. The nice thing is, is it doesn't go super fast. So, I mean, that makes it harder to roll over if you're not going fast enough. So, we can see where we uh, screwed up right over there. We're not too far away. Unfortunately, we got to go around all this uh, open water, so... I haven't quite tested that out yet. I might I might just do that for fun. Maybe I'll bring the cat. Uh, I've been actually tempted to bring the cat out as a fuel truck. But again, I don't think it has chains. I think it's really gonna suffer on the ice. But then again, every other vehicle is too, so... I mean, that's, that's, that's one way I can stop the suffering of vehicles, is to throw chain tires on and uh, not really worry about the ice and sliding around in every which direction and constantly rolling over. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch an edge. Uh, hopefully we are right next to the, uh, the broken up ice so we could catch an edge and flip the, uh, the yar over. But at the same time, I think I might just pull the yard with this. It uh, kind of makes sense. I can't hook up the trailer. It's pointless to take it via winch just because I can't activate it unless I'm actually attached to it, which is kind of a bummer, but you know what? It is what it is. Yep, that's... Uh, I suppose that flipped it over quite nicely. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Let's attach the winch on the back. Let's pull it in. Pretty close. Yeah, that's that's probably good. And let's just uh, go for a nice easy drive. The uh, tartan here doesn't really care what it goes over. The only thing, the only Achilles heel to this vehicle is really, really the, uh, is, is, is water. <laughs> I was going to say the snorkel, but there isn't really a snorkel. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely water. Um, you, you could probably put a snorkel on this, I think. It, it probably, again, wouldn't be very tall. Uh, but they could manufacture a snorkel for this thing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect it to go above the roof line, though. So I don't know how much uh, how helpful that could be. Uh, it looks like there's a little land bridge out there. I wonder if we can actually drive that. Are we supposed to? Uh, maybe it's just the edge of the map. That's probably what it is. That would be interesting, though. Uh, it looks like you could get out here. I don't know. We'll have to uh, we'll have to scan and see where we are. Actually, let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll fire this up. We'll activate our radar, and we'll scan. Nice blinding view of us scanning. Okay, well, nothing was really discovered. Uh, yes, that is the edge of the map, so let's go ahead and we'll just drive, drive straight to here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I should uh, switch vehicles first, though, because that would 
that would definitely make a lot uh, a lot more sense so oh and then uh, attach the winch again as we're slowly slowly drifting away you can see just how fast the R is all right good enough Oop, we gotta <laughs> we gotta abort go left stay away from the water Uh, it's starting to look like with this cliff, we might not be able to get around here. The nice little looks like an old battleship, half sunken in the uh, in the bay. Yeah, it looks like. I mean, it is definitely the edge of the map, but it looks like you could drive out there. All right, we're going to avoid going around. Ah, oh, really? They did this on purpose. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not cutting through there, are we? I'm tempted, but that ice looks awfully... Or the, uh, the water looks awfully deep. <laughs> and I like how the current looks like it's going into the building, which is clearly just a... A hole there so all right let's back up should we scan here yeah if we scan here that's the edge of the map there that should be fine I think we'll uh, I think we'll actually be done scanning this map so this should be for all intensive purposes be the last scan of this map unless there's one spot that I miss if we're if we're 95 percent yeah like there's a little bit up there of course you missed that a little there there's a little chunk over here you know what it's it's probably fine um supplies delivered all right so how do we want to handle this i think we're uh yeah i think we're gonna haul all this up let's uh attach the winch Nope, let's change trucks first. Then we can attach the winch. We're gonna have to do a, uh, at least a six point turn here. Uh, maybe not, maybe, no, no, I think we'll be fine. A good old three point will do the trick. We will head our, head up to, uh, the Lake Brothers and possibly do the repairs because now we have enough repair points so uh, maybe I lied maybe uh, maybe it won't be the next episode I don't know it all depends on how tough this terrain is I mean so far it's it's going up like a champ it does look like it's uh, going to get a little bit tougher, though. All okay, vehicle's working nicely. Trail is getting a little narrow. And definitely I'm not bringing the... Uh, the dairy through here. But I suppose the good news is we don't ever have to go through this pass again. There should be no reason why we're on that side of the map again. Uh, is this, this is ice. That's not great. That's not great at all. Um... Can we get up it? Alright, so this is where uh, chains definitely would uh, would help. Let's see if we can get up just a little bit further. Oh, that's just going to yank us back. Do we slow down? Is that going to help us? Creep ever so slightly forward? No. 
Okay, let's try... Let's try to get over onto that snow a little bit more. Oh, that rock is in the way. Oh, it looks like snow, but I don't think it's, uh... I don't think the tires are treating it as such. There we go, come on. Alright, can we lock? Okay, we can, we can inch this closer. Can we get a nice little push from you? No, just a little push? I don't want to go back too far. I'm going to try to get around all these rocks. That's... I think that's what's killing me right now. Come on, get... Yeah, get some grip. Alright, that snow is a little bit grippy, so... Let's, uh... Attach the winch. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Alright. Now let's hope... <laughs> let's hope... The rest of this, uh, canyon is not, um... An icy hill... Of death. That's, that's my, that's my name for it. The icy hill of death. Really should be the icy canyon of death. I, I was never very good at naming things. Um, in fact, coming out with names every week, or every, I guess three times a week at least for videos are probably the hardest part. <laughs> it's definitely not the playing of them. No, not, not at all. All right, so where are we? We are, we made it to this task. Um, so let's go ahead and start tracking that. So these are the basic supplies. So we do... Ooh, you know what? That's rough. We do have to go through that canyon. Uh, so definitely getting snow tires. Was that canyon wide enough for the dairy? I, I believe it was. What canyon did I just go through? That was the canyon I went through where I was like, this is not wide enough. I don't think this is wide enough. So we need to do... Yeah, we'll have to do the Yar pulling... Service trailer... With chain tires. That's what we need. It's, uh, it might take a while. But that is exactly what we need. Yeah, I think I think we're SOL as far as getting around these cliffs. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Hopefully this will hold me. Yeah, there's there's no way we're getting <laughs> There's no way we're getting on top of those cliffs. Although it does look like a challenge. If I had a uh, trailer, I could probably get up there. All right, so let's um, let's adapt. I like how I just stopped as the ice was breaking. I am going to uh, try something absolutely stupid. And if this fails, it fails. Maybe we should just go the way we came in. But uh, you guys know how I like to do things. I don't like to do that at all. Cargo management. Um, what? Oh, okay. I get it. I was I was thinking I had to pick up spare parts here, and I'm like, I have to drop off spare parts here. 
Has it been that long since I've done a uh, done a little task like this? Let's attach the winch and uh, let's get this party on the road. Yeah, if anyone has guessed what I'm doing, I am going up the mountain of snow. And the easy part would be is if I didn't have to haul this thing behind me. But I do. In fact, I could just take the trailer because we could recover this. This vehicle... You know what? I think that's what we'll do. That just makes so much more sense. Uh, detached trailer recovered. Boom. And let's go ahead and get this ready. I'm going chain si tires. Sorry, EJ. I know you're a fan of not using chain tires, but uh, when it comes to this, we need chain tires. I'm going to I'm going to just suck it up. And uh, where's our trailer storage? Trailer storage way over there. Let's get this set up. No, that's the entry to the garage, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just, I just wanted to look at the, uh, the beautiful Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Oh, uh, if I could speak. Uh, it's actually, uh, they did a pretty good job on those. Alright, let's... Oh, we'll take the, uh... The corners a little quick there. Chain tires may not help. I, I may be wrong. <laughs> EJ, you may be right. Um, but definitely. I believe we get two slots with this service trailer. Off-road scout. Do I want to do the off-road scout? Or does that one make more sense? I'm, I'm going to shoot for the off-road scout. I know it seems kind of dumb. But, uh... Where do we got to go? We got to go way over here. Alright, well, you know what? This is all set up. I'm not 100% sure which one is better. I mean, the off-road one sounds like it would be better. Uh, but at the same time... It's probably heavier. It's, it seems like we're... controlling it pretty well, so... Got big beefy tires. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and stop the engine there. We'll pick that up probably in the next episode. Let's go back to the tartan. Let's uh, just back this up. Actually, we could probably. Oops. We, we definitely don't need to shut off the engine. Come on, attach the winch. I got the next nice extra long cable, so... Oh wow, this trailer is heavy. Uh, maybe? Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the... the other vehicle. Hmm. Well, you know what? It is going to make it easier to get up this hill. It's going to make it easier to weave in and, in, in and out of the trees. In fact, I don't know if this is going to work. But uh, let's take all the... Let's take all the fuel out of it. That theoretically will make it later. 
Let me know if you do know. <laughs> Let me know if you know. Uh, if that does actually make it lighter. It would be, uh... Interesting to find out. Okay, once we start picking up some speed, we can shift up through the gears. Man, oh man, oh man. What was I thinking? Better to go left? That hole there through the trees looks okay. The things I do not to uh, not to leave trailers lying around. Uh, you know what I did realize what I didn't think about? Yeah, I, I should have brought the other vehicle because we needed the uh, the points for it, the repair points. I totally blanked on that. Oh man, I said it like five minutes before too. I was like, oh, we have enough points now with this vehicle and the, uh, the, uh, Yar 87. Man, sometimes I don't, I don't understand how my brain works. <laughs> I think I was dropped on my head too many times as a kid. All right, so we've got some traction through here. Which is good, because the trailer just flipped over. That's going to make it real easy. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just pull it. Maybe it will upright itself. Watch it. It's probably easier to pull it on its side than to pull it on its wheels. <laughs> I'm not going to lie there. I think it is. Oh, it uprighted. Okay. Well, at least it uprighted. Alright. While I think that the, uh... This vehicle wouldn't have made this up here with the chain tires, I think the chain tires definitely have their place. Um, we'll find out in the next episode because we'll be using them. And we'll be hauling... Actually, we'll be hauling all over the map. The north map, or the north camp and the east camp are two, two worlds apart. All right, I believe I'm on the tallest part of the map right now. <laughs> like, that was a nice little climb. Uh, now the only problem is we gotta figure out a way down. And yeah, I think we, we ride this ridge until we uh, start going down some cliffs. Now I did take the autonomous wench off, so if we do flip over, we'll have to send one of the other trailers, or tractors, uh, to come get us, but that shouldn't be too bad, because we should. I think where we're gonna flip over, we're gonna be pretty close to where they're located, so. It's kind of the best of both worlds, I guess. Pick up some speed. The good news is we have trees around. But we definitely have stuff to winch off of. I love how far away you can see the, uh, the little area markers. At night. They just, they stick out like sore thumbs at night. Alright, we're halfway through gas, so that's good. I was actually tempted to do half an hour long videos. Uh, speaking of videos, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, I was tempted to do half an hour long videos and see if I, I start improving as far as stats and stuff like that, but... It does seem awfully short, like, I should be signing off right now, which 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is a, a nice little thumbnail, but... You guys kinda already know how I do my thumbnails. Um, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It is pretty much straight shot down. We could... We could traverse this way, and then head down. Do something like that. Or... We could cut through here and hope that there's a path wide enough for us. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the left. And I hope this isn't slippery. Uh, the trailer... <laughs> yeah, it's slippery for the trailer. But we're good. Alright. Uh, break. Oh. Or, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if all of our wheels are supposed to be off the ground, but they are. <laughs> I'm not touching the ground right now. That's a, that's a first for me anyways. Um, all right, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's head down the, uh, the slope because, well, that's what we're here to do. And instantly we dig right in. Crap. Okay, stop us, stop us, stop us. Thank you. Okay, we're we're at least moving. The engine started. All right, we got lucky there. Um, we're just gonna yank this thing. Uh, did I just? I did just freaking bury that into that snow. Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and try to yank it out. Oh, that was a tree. Thank you. I want the trailer. Oh no! Why did I have to hit it? Okay, tell me I can still get the... Ugh! Seriously? Sometimes the, uh, the winch points just don't make any sense. Why is it that it will not let me get the front of the trailer? I mean, it won't even let me winch onto anything at that point. Come on, where is it? Come on. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Oh, you, you go away from those trees. Perfect. Gotta build up some speed. Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to go this way and then get on the trail. Yeah, except I can probably just go straight through here. Uh, maybe not. I gotta go for little trees. There. We're good. Okay, supposedly this is the trail. Supposedly. Come on, get through that mud. We can clear. Oops. Let's uh. 
you. Clear that map. Uh, can I cut through this way? Yeah, I think we can do it. Did I? I did. Now I got 20,000 20, things to cycle through. Nice and close. Awesome. You know what? We'll just go through their picnic table. They don't really need that, anyways. And we'll hang a left. Alright. I don't know if I can sell this, but it's at least at the trailer store. <laughs> Uh, yep, I cannot sell it, but it's here. I'm sure we'll have a vehicle that can uh, sell this once. Sooner or later, we'll get a vehicle here to sell it. That's that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so where are our? Our vehicles that are all stuck are over here. Um, so that's kind of pointless, but we can do this. Let's go get the service trailer here. That's not it's not very far, and I've instantly driven up a stump. Okay, let's try this again. And uh, yeah, we'll just go over there. We'll get some. We've got plenty of fuel on board. I don't, I don't remember. I think it's a half a tank. Would I be wrong? Probably. Uh, yeah, it's it's about a half a tank. We might as well throw that in right now. That kind of gives us a ballpark of how far we can go. And push comes to shove, I think we have a fuel truck there, so... Uh, the other... Tuts is there, the TUZ. I still don't know if I call it the TUZ or if I call it the Tuts. It's kind of... Up in the air right now. <laughs> I, I think it will always be up in the air. Until somebody corrects me. And then I'll probably still call it the wrong thing. Alright, so what are we looking at here? We cannot attached to this either. But we can winch it, so I think the best bet is to probably probably winch it by the uh, the tongue. Are we gonna go way up there, huh? I almost wonder if it would be better to take that road. I guess we'll see how the trailer pulls behind. That's pretty good. It feels like it's lighter than the, uh, that one service trailer, the uh, radar trailer. I'm going to head towards the, the mud. I think we have an advantage there with this vehicle. Hopefully there's not too much ice. And hopefully it's not too deep of water, because it is water. Which way do I want to sneak through? I want to just keep going. I gotta go this way. Okay, 
Yeah, it's, it's a good day when you speed up when you hit mud. <laughs> you know the terrain is not easy. When you speed up when you hit mud. And uh, yeah, right now we've come to a complete stop. This is where the long winch comes in handy. Wait till we get to more solid ground. And I don't know if that exists around here. Solid ground. That's 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 the understatement of the episode for sure. Heck, yeah, this mod just made it worse. There's gotta be something that's not gonna snap. Nothing? Cool. Oh, I found something that's not gonna snap. Okay, there we go. We're on solid ground now. <laughs> yeah, we kind of left our trailer behind. Uh, really behind. Yeah, let's draw that in real quick. don't want to get stuck again. Let's just park up real quick. We'll get the trailer in as close as we can. That's probably good there. Yeah, they definitely did that on purpose. That was that was kind of close. We are running out of fuel, but 40 gallons is a lot of fuel on this thing. So, and to tell you the truth, the uh, where do we gotta go? Oh, we still gotta go up that trail, don't we? We gotta go this way. Okay, so we got we got a little bit of a ways to go. Hopefully we can keep our speed up. Okay, go this way. Uh-oh. I'm not liking how deep that is. I'm gonna leave the trailer there and try to winch ourselves through first. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, trailer should follow pretty quickly. And uh, who really cares what happens to it if it falls over? 
It will be absolutely fine. Bouncing all over the place. All these stupid, the little stupid rocks hidden under the snow. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, we are, we are good to go. Just gotta sneak our way through here. It's like a right, and then a left, and we are solid. Although this ice looks like it's breakable. Oh, so we'll drop that off there. I won't even use the repair points on the, uh, at least I don't have to. I don't think I have to. We, we won't use those first. Let's change our trucks. Let's jump into the dairy. Fire this thing out. It's been a while. It too is also low on gas. And uh, I really, uh, yeah, I don't have to be in that box. I don't know why I was thinking I did. Uh, let's repair. And uh, we'll repair all. And we'll repair all on that. And stage is complete. Uh, we gotta take it somewhere, don't we? Hmm. That's, that's the million dollar question right here. Um, let's show task. Do I want to start that one? Yeah, supply, I can, I can do supply. Start that. Delivered an amateur mechanic. That's not something I wanted. Why would you ever want to take your vehicle to an amateur mechanic? Uh, alright, so it's right by knee deep. I don't think we've actually been over that way. Hmm. Okay. I think this is an easy, uh... I think this is gonna be easy. Let's take the dairy. First of all, I'll put all-wheel drive on, because I've had that off for a while. We're gonna... Uh... We gotta turn around. There's really no good way to say it, but we do have to turn around. Okay. We're gonna try to make it there with uh, 36 gallons of fuel. Because I believe the tuts here is empty. Yeah, that's got seven gallons in it. Oh, so many vehicles I have out right now. Uh, refuel. Oh no, we're full. Sweet. <laughs> Let's fill this sucker up. I thought this was empty. I must have. I must have refilled it up. Um, all right, so we can leave, we can leave that one there. Uh, let's go ahead and start this up. Go ahead and turn, obviously your all-wheel drive on. It's gotta be on. We're gonna have to see if there's better tires for this truck, because we're kind of slipping and sliding all over the place. It's kind of... I don't know, it seems kind of... seems like these may not be the best tires for it, but... Whoops. No! Almost recovered. Uh, roof rack. No. Yes. Fill up the tartan. Fill up the roof rack. And we'll even fill up our own vehicle. So we're down to 59 gallons, so... 
we're gonna leave this one here as a hopefully backup or something uh but let's change our trucks actually we'll just we'll just do this jump in the dairy fire this thing up throw the uh diff lock on and off we go uh, we need markers we definitely need markers here I want to, yeah, I want to go here first. I want to drop this trailer off. We shouldn't need it for anything. If we do, we can always start off at the beginning and, and call, it, call it off the lake. There's so many different directions you can go on this map. It's That's kind of a nice thing about this map, uh, but at the same time, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. You never know which is the best route to take. Like back in Michigan, you kind of knew what the best route to take was. Especially once you had to go kind of northwest. No, northeast. It was northeast. Um, you just kind of knew the best route. I'm going to go slow. Why am I going so fast? There's a shortcut through there. I want to avoid that for sure. Can I squeeze through here? Oh, I hope I can. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. That's a thing of beauty right there. Up and over. Try to avoid all the stumps. There's so many stumps around here. What is this task? Oh, that's the supply delivery task. Perfect. Um, yeah, you're complaining about that. We're just dropping this off, aren't we? Alright. Get rid of this trailer. I want to try something. Uh, attach winch. I think if it's attached by a winch, you can go to the trailer store. Oh, never mind. I can't get rid of it. I could have sworn I did it once. Oh well, you know what? It is what it is. Ah, uh, do 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 do. All right, shall we? I think we shall. Let's go back here. I did not turn off this vehicle. Ah, uh, the tartan. Yep, you're going to be our go-to. Start up. <laughs> you you kind of scared me there for a second. You didn't seem to want to start. Right, and here's the step, or no, the Zeke 5368. We're starting to get some of these older uh, trucks in. Oops, I keep doing that. Why do I turn off the vehicle? All right, let's attach the winch and let's uh, hightail it out of here. Uh, let's get some markers. We gotta go that way. So... Yeah, I think our best bet is to head down here. We'll follow the trail through there, go around all that mud. I'm just, I'm gonna take more of a direct route to it. Ooh, are we gonna have the grip to get up there? Oh yeah. Um, 
Can we just go over the tree? Probably not. It would be so nice if it would actually break branches off the tree. Um, where was my actual marker? That's yeah, pretty much down that hill. I, I figured we weren't going to go over that tree. This one we can go over. Alright, hopefully the... Uh, Trail is still there. Yep, we'll just follow the, uh, the little side road that we made. I mean, this kind of shows you how wide this vehicle is compared to, like, the dairy. Because <laughs> the, uh, the dairy definitely fit through here, so I'm going to be a little upset if this doesn't fit. Uh, it's definitely tighter. Okay, let's, let's do a little bit of magic. Yep, bounce off that side. Yep, you're, you're good. We're golden. Now, gotta kind of force this truck to go around too. I'm actually going to uh, change the winch point. Oh my god, there's so many winch points. Honking the horn a little bit. Okay. Go okay, way over this way. Right, let's back up and then try it again. There we go. Nice short uh, line. Does it every time. Oh, I, yeah, not really sure why we're attached to the front, but it's technically helping us out right now. Nope, I said the back. Thank you. Suck in a little bit, and where else do we have to go? We gotta go 0 0.3 kilometers or miles or something that way. Thank you. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just realized we are almost out of time, so uh, let's keep digging. Possibly, maybe, maybe we'll go a little bit over just to uh, be able to drop this off and say we completed a mission. Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely gonna avoid that. I'm going straight up this way. I'm gonna follow the, the ridge. I think we've got a clear shot. I can avoid the water, the ice, and the s well, not really the snow. <laughs> a little bit of mud, most of the mud. You can actually see a lot of our tracks of us. Everything we did this episode. Uh, 
Come on. See if we uh, switch gears if we actually technically go faster. I think we're going faster. Okay. <laughs> well, it looked like it was uh, easier. That's pretty dense down there, but I think we can go to the left here. Oh yeah. Nice and slow. Remember what happened last time. Um, oh, 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 oh. One, two. That thing can do whatever it wants. I'm gonna cut to the right. Yep, I kind of figured the truck was gonna tip over there, but... Oh. Oh, don't you get stuck on that tree. Come on, right yourself. Can I even get through here? I may have uh, screwed the pooch on this one. Go around that way? Come on. Problem is I, I, I'm sliding. Got you off the tree. That's good. There may be a path there that I just saw. I almost feel I want to test it first. Yeah, we can. We can fit through there. And yep, yeah, that's gonna smack right dab into that. Uh, I should have. Come on. I fit through here. <laughs> Come on, there's so many points. I may have screwed the poop here because now it wants to climb that tree instead of going around it. All right, you know what? Good enough. <laughs> this is going to be... This is going to be tricky. I'm going to try to do it this way.
Come on, you were on. I want. Why is it not picking up that point? As close as possible. You're gonna bounce through here. Oh yeah, we can turn that engine on. Give me a shove. Come on, give me a push. I love how I fit through here before. Twice. Oh yeah, that's why. Because I was winched onto something. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Uh, now if I could just, you know what? Where's my mouse? Thank you. <laughs> so much faster. Oh, they're saying the truck itself is stuck? This is definitely one of those cases where going the long way was the faster way. Oh, and that just threw me way off. Can't change into that truck. Uh oh. <laughs> always start off camera too. That's the other thing that drives me nuts. I can sit here for an hour doing this. I feel like it should always be on camera. Alright, let's get you off this birch tree. That's the direction I want to go. Uh, okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> we're through. We're not out of the woods yet, but we're through. Um, so we need to go knee deep. We need to take a hard right. Like a hard right. All of this is heavily wet. Um, so yeah. 
Catch winch. Come on, still trying to go through all these. There we go. Oh, take our handbrake off, that would help. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay by the water edge. Yes, and right now my front end is not cooperating. But remember, this vehicle is not happy in water. Oh my god, there's so many winch points. I think I can cut left here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that worked. The steering is so slow. Alright, I went a little bit over time. And by a little, I mean a lot. Is there a truck thing there? This is saying where I need to, uh... Drop it off. This is the problem with a short winch cable. <laughs> it's harder to maneuver. Alright, we did it. We finally did it. That was a lot tougher than uh, than I was expecting. What is this now? What is this? Is a this is a task, isn't it? I got what the water under. It's a rescue mission, isn't it? Knee deep. Let's accept it. Oh, we gotta do it all over again, guys. Uh, where's knee deep? Knee deep's over there. So that's that's fine. That's actually not too far away from, well, it's the complete opposite side of the base, so, uh, but we're not too far away. I wanted to, yeah, end the episode. That's what I wanted to do. 100% uh, wanted to end the episode. Okay, so we got the fuel carrier. We've got the Zeke 612. We got that sitting there. That could be useful for knee deep. It doesn't look like it's too long of a path. But we will uh, we will actually hold off on knee deep. We are going to. Yeah, we're going to leave the tartan here. It doesn't have a trailer. No, so it is. It can be recovered. It can do we can do whatever we want with it. Um, it does have about a tank of gas left. In fact, let's refuel. So we've got uh, two thirds. Not too bad. No, wait. Sorry, seventy-five percent. <laughs> I can't do math. Uh, yeah, we're gonna end the episode there because we are almost a quarter away through the next episode. To tell you the truth, but uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it in that episode. I love how when I mentioned doing a shorter episode, I went. Probably the longest I ever went in a episode. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.